Well, good afternoon. This is your friend and pastor, Charles Hayton, sitting here in the sanctuary at the very back of the sanctuary of the Lighthouse Chapel here in Kansas City, Missouri. And I love sitting here in the sanctuary of God's house, a very sacred place. We try to keep it a, a sacred place. We try to create an atmosphere where people come through the door. If they're seeking God, I trust they'll find an atmosphere that's conducive to seeking God. So I love coming over here and just spending time alone. And I do think that uh, we can commune with God anywhere. But this is a special place to me here in the sanctuary of the Lighthouse Chapel. You know, I think about God is a good God. He loves to give. He has blessed us beyond measure. When I think about how it's more blessed to give than it is to receive, God wants us to know that uh, we are the recipient of his blessing. And all of us are the recipients of God's blessing. Thinking about the various ways that God bless us, we know that he's blessed us with a universal blessing. Even people that do not know God, people that have no time to love and to serve God, People that know little about God, they're still the recipient of God's blessing. He's created a beautiful world for us to live in. The Bible says that the rain falls on the just and the unjust. And so all of the blessings and the benefits that we have from living here in a beautiful world is because God has taken delight in giving us a wonderful place to call home as we sojourn throughout this world. And then I think about, you know, God not only gives us a universal blessing, blesses everybody, but he has blessed us with uh, material things. Uh, we think about all the things that God has done in providing the comfort creatures of life. He blesses us with all that we need to exist in this world. I know there are people that uh, struggle and I understand that, but I still believe that what David said, I was young and now I am old, yet I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. I believe that God will meet our temporal and physical needs. And then I think about how the spiritual blessings that he gives, you know, he's given us a means of grace whereby we can uh, know him. He's given us the Holy Spirit that draws us to the Lord, and he gives us the benefit of churches across the land that can help us know how to get to heaven and help us along the way to heaven. How blessed we are by every means of grace that God has given, given us a church, and he's given us the Bible. He's opened up the avenue to where we can come boldly to the throne of grace and find grace to help in a time of need. So think of the spiritual blessings that we enjoy today. But I think about what awaits, and that is eternal blessing. God has blessed us in this life in so many ways. But, you know, Paul said that I hath not seen, heareth not heard, neither hath entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love him. And I'm anxious to be a recipient of those eternal blessings, uh, knowing God in eternity, living there in a place that God has created for me, uh, be a place of eternal bliss and eternal happiness. God loves to bless his people. You are blessed whether you realize it or not. But let's just stop and think about how grateful we are to be a recipient of all that God has given. Heavenly Father, make us aware that every good and every perfect gift is from above, and may we be truly thankful, Lord, for all the blessings that Thou hast given us in this life and in the world to come. Bless us, keep us lo uh, loving You, keep us close to You. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. Well, I plan to see you tomorrow here on the Lord Light's Devotional with Pastor Aiton. Thanks for setting in with me. Goodbye.